let's begin. Uh, number 567. 567. 567. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, Blessed Trinity, holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, God everlasting through eternity. Holy, 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 though the darkness hides thee, though the eye may blind by sin, thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince, forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. 
I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's message, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy, I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our lands and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you than one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, not only, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed, dispersed people, children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, But he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. So the Gospel of John is the Gospel of Signs, or the Book of Signs, and uh, the last sign that uh, Jesus um, does in the Gospel of John is the raising of Lazarus. So um, Jesus has just done this miracle, and, um, and it is getting out that this dead man has been risen from the dead. Um, or brought back to life, rather, brought back to life um, by Jesus. So it shows that Jesus has power over life and death, can bring someone back from the dead, which, of course, is unheard of. Um, but in the, other, in, the, in the Gospels, Jesus does this in other situations uh, where he brings someone back from the dead. Um, and, um, and because of that, we see... Um, You know, the Passover is about to happen, and of course, as we'll hear about as we be going to Holy Week, starting tonight with um, Palm Sunday, how um, this is a particularly 
politically fraught time um, in Jerusalem because it's Passover, and the Jews are remembering their deliverance, their freedom from uh, slavery in Egypt. So most likely, you know, they would be not only thinking of commemorating Passover, but they're thinking about how you know they're being occupied by the Romans, and so it's a perfect time for them to cause problems, uh, a riot, what have you. Um, and uh, so, um, so the, the Romans know this. The Romans know this, and the Jewish leaders know this. And they're, they're seeing the signs. They're you know, observing the writing on the wall, and they're seeing this crescendo. You know, with the, the signs that Jesus is doing, they're saying, oh, well, we need to put a stop to this because things will go very bad for us if we um, bring it, if we force the Romans to come in and calm things down, which, which will happen in 78 AD anyway with the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple. But um, so um, as we are this Saturday, Saturday morning of before we begin Holy Week, we reflect upon just how things are heating up People are getting ready. Um, Jesus himself is laying low so that nothing happens to him until the appointed time. But of course, in the Gospel of John, Jesus, um, the way the story is told, Jesus has the power to hand himself over. Um, so, um, uh, so it's, it's yeah. So, as we reflect, um, we will continue to pray and meditate upon these stories of the passion um, as we prepare ourselves and we remember the Passover and Jesus' passion and death on the cross. We now stand, we offer our prayers. Pray for the church, pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oscar, all bishops and church leaders. We pray to the Lord. Pray for all leaders of nations. They work to bring about true peace and justice in our world. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our community of faith as we begin the celebration of Holy Week. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for peace in the world, we especially pray for Ukraine and uh, all the people of Eastern Europe, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are struggling right now and throughout our world. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we offer you our prayers this day. Fill our hearts with your love. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Attention for today's Mass is for, what's his name again? Dylan, for Dylan, intentions of, of Larry, Larry Montoya. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as the expiation for our sins, May they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
will be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be through us. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. 
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace. Close. 479. 479. Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us to overcome our sins and close by you to stay, as you with Satan did God.